What's up WWE Champions Universe? This is Lee from Champions Chat and this is your breakdown for version 2 of Julius Creed. Orange Julius Creed of the Creed Brothers. If you know, you know. Uh, I had a video of, of him that was the whole breakdown and everything. And then they went and changed some things, right? Yeah, it was a it was not a popular decision amongst the the community, but it is uh, what it is because that's the change that's made. So a couple things, I, I did have a different version of the video, had to scrap it, and in the previous version, the gear bonus was plus four MP to all moves. That's easy since you know you can't take the gear off to uh, navigate around because you just add MP trainers. But instead, the gear bonus is now plus four. Uh, increase the strength of four by all multi gems uh which i can't i can't move around because i can't take the gear off but also it does show you what they're thinking on the move sets right uh, i built out in the previous version of this video his super sub as perhaps his uh preferred build uh, something that a lot of people would use now they're very clearly leaning you into the multi gems increasing their strength by four which means uh, the move set that we will activate on screen right here, which is the one that was uh, broken because it did do a, oh my goodness, a lot of damage, right? Uh, but they did a couple things. Not only did they change the gear, they also changed the MP cost on the blue move. So now, unless you have a top lane bonus in feud or use props, uh, you are not going to start turn one with this move set period right you you will in tours but that's not what we're building around we're talking about feud showdown boss battle maybe uh but especially for those who are paying attention to your feud lineups this will not start loaded turn one unless you got a lot of stuff uh going on however i will show you how you get it loaded turn two so we've got the military press power slam eight mp blue deal damage choose three rows to make into multi gems of strength eight Sliding Lariat, deal damage, make 20 random gems into trap gems. If broken by your opponent, deal damage and increase your purple gem damage by 15% for one turn. And if broken by you, deal damage and make two random gems purple. And then the short, short arm clothesline, 6 MP purple. Deal damage, increase your purple gem damage by 144% for one turn. And then deal damage and make 30 trap gems purple. So in order to get this loaded, this is the same uh, moveset that I had uh, built out before. You can see I've got Zombie Gunther there, Zombie Cody here. You can really run them either way. Uh, Zombie Cody buffs all the purple gems 30%. Zombie Gunther buffs just the multi gems 60%. So you've got two variations on screen that you can see. But either way, you're going to need Lawler for 4 MP blue, plus your turn start, that's 5, plus Santa Hogan is 6, but that's an 8 MP move. So, as is with the change, it wouldn't even technically be ready turn two unless you do something I'll show you in a minute. And then you've got Woods for 4 MP, 5 with your turn start. Santa is 6, so your purple moves do start loaded turn one. Again, Gunther or somebody who does purple gem damage would be fine there. On the strap, I've got a 50% gem damage strap, double fury two, plus the fourth metal is your all gem damage 35%. So uh, not the highest I could take him, but it is higher than, uh, it, it's on the higher side because of the candy store setup of the account. So here's the plate. Uh, you do need now, if you wanna start turn two, that is not using props and not having a top line bonus in feud, then you would need the uh, moment of bliss. Whenever you break three or more purple gems, get three blue MP. Just a note, you could also use the, not the Tiffy plate, the Chelsea green plate. Whenever you make 15 or more trap gems, increase your purple move damage by 200%. Uh, that would work. His purple move damage is uh, not bad, right? That would buff him up quite a bit. So just to note, you could use that plate in addition. So we're going to go up against Big Papa Pump. Here's the problem. Uh, Big Papa Pump would sub us turn two. Uh, sorry, turn one. So I, I'm going to explain how you will run this post 99 MP, but then I'm going to show you what it would look like turn two. So for now, you just go ahead and drop the multis, drop the traps, and then hit the thing and you're good to go, right? 
after the 99 MP is gone, you use the moment of bit bliss plate to your advantage. So you would lay down the traps, you would lay down, uh, you know, you the traps, then break all of them, and then that would reload the purple, plus the plate would reload, or would load this move right here, so you would be able to hit him again on the second turn. If you don't have that plate, this is uh, one of those situations where you would have to use a blue gem match to load your moves and then hit turn two. And if you don't have any of that on the board for you working in your favor, you are gonna be a turn three instead of turn one. So uh, because I don't want Papa to sub us and I want you to see his damage up against a six gold, let me run it as if this were turn two and we'll kind of go from there. So you're gonna lay down your multi gems. You can put them on top, my preference, uh, put them on the bottom because that cascades down. And again, I also cannot nerf the gear, which means that he does have times 12 as opposed to times eight. So this is gonna hit a little bit harder, but nothing we can do about that. Let me show you what your turn two or turn one with a top line bonus would look like. Ba -dip -ba -dip. And you're talking 76 million. Wowzers. So, still his best move set. Still puts him right in that uh, top echelon of, of uh, your technicians. And of course, you could do some things. You could, you could always do some things, right? They get you even more in there. But 76 million is pretty fair to what most people are going to hit turn two. The biggest disadvantage, one last time, is that it is not turn one in most scenarios now, and it doesn't hit quite as hard as it did before. Before you could see well over 100 million because you could use different trainers that allowed you to add Sherry, that blah, blah, blah. But 76 million turn uh, two still makes him extremely, extremely good and definitely worth chasing plus getting the gear. So that's the move set now, right? Um, but we're gonna show you two others real quick because he has other moves and other people use different play styles, right? So let's go check that out. Your second move set is your super sub move set. The, what I'm gonna call the don't let them get back up just break their ankles move set so uh you've got the sleeper hold color submission choose 10 gems to make green and do damage for two turns remaining submission turn into pyro gems which will modify all gems above it into blue your next one is the arm bar color submission choose chin choose 10 gems to make blue submission do damage for three turns and the remaining also turn into those pyro which will make everything blue and then you've got the high angle rolling slam deal damage choose 10 gems to destroy so um yeah in the previous version of this one one of the things that i think was a knock-on effect of losing uh, the gear doing four to all colors. There was a tricolor build that I could show where you use the sub, you debuff it so that it doesn't go off as many turns, making the pyro multis. You add, instead of one of the subs, you instead then add the uh, move that makes your multi gems here, the military press power slam, and then you use the destroyer move to destroy all of the gems above it, turning blue, etc. Etc. Um, yeah, that's no longer viable, really, because you're you're gonna do some uh, different things this time around, and this is times eight again, and or eight MP charge. So you you can you can do blue blue, you could do uh, green green blue, and we'll kind of show it. it. It just again it doesn't go off as quick because of because of the other piece your entourage though is uh, gonna be George Steele for green moves start with four Rhea for green submission last two more turns and green moves start with two uh, more MP then you've got Bruno San Martino for green subs go 50% more damage and last longer and then Logan Paul for 50% more and one more turn so you're getting your uh, sub loaded by hitting the high angle rolling slam going into your sub and then you super sub from there 
on the plates. We'll show you on the next move set a little bit, but you can do the gremlin's ears so that after your sub, you do 100% more damage to blue. But the focus is super sub. Because what you're going to see is, once we go up against Mr. Papa of the Big Pickly Pumps, we are going to have a, a field day here. So you would need, this is times 10, you're only going to be up to times 6 normally, so you would need to destroy, without the 99 MP, destroy 4 green gems. In this case, you only have four green gems, and one of them right here would cause a cascade. So you would need to destroy another one and really hope you don't cascade, right? You could also start with blue loaded, but Rhea really helps get you going on the subs because this sub right here does 25 million. 25 million. So we're going to just kind of start there. You would need to load your blue to get yourself going with the blue move, uh, or keep it going, that is. And this is, there's almost no place I can put these, yikes, uh, where you won't destroy them. But seven times 3.6 million, not quite, but roughly 25 million sub, right? Because he started 65 million health. He's ending at uh, 42, so that was 23 million, give or take, right there. Then you've got another sub that is very easily going to show you itself. It does 1.6 million damage for three turns. So only three. Only. Only three. Here's the reason I don't like using the uh, pyro set, though, as your go-to. Unless you use, which we'll see, the debuff on it. Uh, you're, you're just not having a lot of pyro gems out there. It's just not the way. So this way, you're going to load your green move. You're going to sub him down again. And then you're going to make some pyro multis or pyros into blue again. Uh, and even though he just reloaded his moves, he is not going to get to use them because we are right back to the sub. And if you don't get the sub for some reason, you just use the high angle rolling slam. You get the idea. It's very much just your super sub build. And some people like those. Some people absolutely despise sub gameplay. It really just depends on what you like. But very choosy, very clicky, and it takes quite some time. Now we are facing six gold with a six silver, but subs don't go up a lot in the transition to gold so even though his sub is huge and by the way papa just keeps trying to reload his moves and we just keep slapping him down no sir you don't get to do this to us i forgot what color i was going for here this should be green right so that's actually gonna be fun it's gonna break that gem that'll give us some pyro into blue um yeah again these are these are a challenge not to let him break these or not for me to break these actually because the pyro is going to break two of those uh three of those four of those <laughs> your 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 moves reload great it, it's it's just super slow um so you get the idea uh let me show you one last move set here all right, his last move set really kind of got hindered by the uh, change as well, because with the plus four MP, you would use uh, his brother as a trainer, and that would help you out, and blah, blah, blah. His brother actually no longer works well as a trainer for him. Uh, he buffs green plus trap gems, right? But you don't really do a combination of the green and purple, unless I'm wrong, and I very willing to be uh the only place you usually use the green and purple is with this bonus damage for every pyro gem but the problem even though he's made for the six star gold meta is that there's a uh i mean 430k bonus for every pyro gem is fine but there's not going to be a lot of pyro gems made or that last i should say to really take advantage of that 
So it is what it is. Um, so his brother no longer trains him. That's that's just kind of the way I see it. But your move set is similar to what we've seen before. You've got the sleeper, which is your color submission. Choose 10 gems to make green. And then, of course, you sub them. You've got the military press power slam, which we saw and also have noted multiple times that the MP went up to 8, so it's not going to be ready turn 1. And then you've got the high angle rolling slam. Deal damage. Choose 10 gems to destroy. On the entourage, you can go one of two ways. You can either go, I mean, you have to go with blue MP starting with four, plus your turn bonus is five. Then you have Lex, which starts you with uh, another two, right? So that's six, seven, it's turn one. So if you want to be turn one after the post 99 MP, you're going to need Santa Hogan. That gets you started with eight, right? But... What it doesn't do is now you're creating these gems, 10 of them, that are green submission and the remaining are going to turn into pyro, but you want them as low as possible and you don't want as many as possible broken, which means you could go and sub Santa, eat a turn, or use perks, or you have a line bonus, once again, uh, and then go ahead and replace this with somebody who does MP down on the, the opponent, or my preference, of course, would be less sub turns, because then you have more remaining on the board that they don't break. And then you've got Zombie Gunther, blue gems do 30%, multis do 60%. And finally, on the plates, you've got the Gremlin's Ear, whenever you generate three or more subs increase your blue gem also red uh, damage by 100% and whenever you activate a blue move increase your blue gem damage by 50% for one turn that's only going to proc once however because the sub even though it is blue is going to eat a turn so it defeats itself you could use the green move but again that's a 10 mp green then you would have to use your high angle rolling slam to get back to the green and then you're not set up for what this move set is apparently designed for so yeah let's go up against big pickly pump one more time and just see what we can do what can we do obviously in the 99 mp era no need to worry but otherwise we've set it up for the right thing so we're going to sub him which we need anyway uh we won't need to break any green in fact we don't want as many uh, as much as possible any green gems broken uh, that is not going to work of course because he's going to break some and we don't want to put them too close to each other blah 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 uh, but anyway it's two turn yeah see he broke those and those would have been our best our best shot so it's two turns um, so there's less likelihood that they break them but it is what it is this will proc the uh, the plate the heart stopper make your top rows into multi gems and then use the destroy move to turn everything else into it. Note one more time, I do have the gear, can't take it off, so you are seeing a little bit of a bonus. So that's going to give you those rows turning into blue. These blues right here are going to get matched up anyway, so now what you're looking for is green gems and then just whatever bonus gems you can hit in the uh the ones that don't get changed around bam 37 million so 80 million still at six star gold not bad at all at all at all uh but it is you know it, it's it's a trick to set up let's just say and you know it worked better before when julius was trained by his brother brutai so it is what it is. So that's your uh, breakdown for Julius, Orange Julius Creed. He is good, undeniably good. I wish that Bret Hart had gotten the love on his submission move the way that Julius has in his. Uh, super subs are definitely back. 25 million a turn uh, or cycle is incredible, but you at gold are still going to take three turns at least to beat them. For some, that's not a big deal. He does have his power move set with the purples, right? First one we looked at. Uh, and of course, the nerf really did change that. And the gear is really adding to 
that now, even though it kind of messed it in a different way. So it's it's not that he got nerfed, it's that he got changed, and you do have to be more creative with him. And then this move set right here, uh, you can get some massive hits with it, depending on if your opponent breaks however many of the pyro gems as they break, right? But it does flawlessly recycle itself. It hits really well. I mean, we only had four pyro gems left and they were on the top so they didn't even really hit as much of the other gems as they could have etc etc so where do i rank him uh ms plus moment is by far better to me i don't have the cascade problems usually that some people have with with ms but ms plus moment even after 99 mp is my favorite technician uh in the game that isn't named hall of fame jim neidhart and that's just because i really enjoy that guy's play style Otherwise, however, he's definitely up there. You know, he can hit harder or at least as hard as CM Punk, uh, less cascade risk and, and etc. The sub gives him a little bit advantage to, to tear people down instead of, you know, getting put in predicaments, etc., etc. Um, other techs, man, I, I can't even think off the top of my head. Razor plus gear, I think, is better. Uh, but overall, I'd say Julius Creed still, even with the changes that were controversial, still fits up there in the top five techs pretty comfortably. So definitely worth chasing. Gear is a game changer for two out of his three most valuable move sets. And the only thing I would say is this move right here is fairly useless. So unless you uh, see some huge buffs uh, with trainers that buff pyro gems uh, later, because there's not really too many right now. There's a couple, but not not too many. Uh, and really get lucky where the opponent doesn't break all of your gems that turn into pyros. You know, don't worry about that. But three very good move set. Really like him. He's a good, worthwhile chase. We'll see you on the next one. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like, subscribe, share with your faction mates, and be on the lookout. Uh, it'll be about two or three weeks, but we'll do a power rating of him. See you then. Bye.